Well, it's Giant Tank 1400 here, and I've been just kind of thinking about work versus rest and how we as humans tend to go to one extreme or the other. You're either, you tend to either be a workaholic or you're lazy. Neither of these things are good. And I've always, I've always been middle of the road kind of guy with this kind of thinking, partly because of my lack of energy due to my illnesses and stuff like that. But, I mean, I've been praying about it late, lately, too. Like, praying for to God to help me to rest when he wants me to rest and to work when he wants me to work. And it just got me thinking, like, it's that balance between the two is so hard to actually obtain. And even resting itself is just so hard because we tend to be distracted by so many different things that engage us, especially in today's world. Like to really rest in the Lord. And like what's the difference between rest and say leisure time? We are just doing watching videos or um playing video games or stuff like that. At what point does it actually become like work? At what point does it engage you? Are you even resting or relaxing? Or are you actually super engaged in like playing that video game and getting better at it that you're actually not resting anymore? And the truth about all this is I don't really have the I don't really have the answer because I've thought about it and it's just like and I tend to go one extreme or the other too. I tend to, you know, rest when I should be working and sometimes working when I should be resting or even when I rest. It's not like it's not resting in God. It's not resting in the Lord. And it's just honestly, it's kind of frustrating. And I've watched some you know, videos on this about pastors and stuff like that, talking about it, and they tend to go towards, like, the workaholic mentality. And uh, and at least a few of them do understand if you are if you do have an illness and you don't have high energy, they kind of understand. But one video was like, oh, you're supposed to just rest out of the point of exhaustion and stuff like that. And it's like, I don't think that's the case. Because if we read in the Bible, God gave us one day of rest, and the people who rested on the seventh day, if we look back to when the manna was being uh, spread, this is, you know, this is an um, exodus. Um, There were people that, you know, would collect the manna on the seventh day, even though they weren't supposed to, um, because God wanted them to rest from their labor. And so they weren't resting because of the point of exhaustion. It's just like these kind of things... I don't think the church, at least, you know, the Western church actually has a good idea about the nature between like rest and work and the balance that it creates. And that may be because the culture is so work intensive. Um, Like if you want to succeed in, you know, the society, you really have to buckle down and do like a ton of work. And it's like, I mean, not to say like working hard is bad. I mean, we look at Paul's like and all all the stuff he worked for. But it begs the question, the balance between work and rest. Because I just know, in my case, if like, there have been times in my life where I do a schedule, do an insane schedule that I make for myself. I schedule like every hour of what I'm going to do to try to get like everything done. And I don't keep the schedule up for more than a week, um, at maybe two weeks at best. Because this is so intense that it's like, I just can't do it and i end up getting burned out to the point where i end up doing less work overall and that's like another thing is burnout that you got to think about is um if you're doing too much of like one kind of work or too much work in general you're going to burn yourself out and your labor your work is going to be less efficient and you're not going to enjoy it and that's going to drive you further down it might even like lead into maybe a sadness or depression when you kind of lose any ambition or drive to actually do the stuff you once enjoyed. So that's like another factor you got to consider. And it's tough because, I mean, my desire is to like work and accomplish God's work. But I mean, how am I doing that with, you know, my current job, my current, you know, um, um, day job, if you will. I I don't I don't actually see how I'm doing that other than like praying for my coworkers. But it's but I, I still think I have to 
doing this work does have a value because you are giving glory to God by actually working and do and giving the skills that the Lord has get, given you, the gifts that He has given you, and using them for His glory. Work like we always say this: like men actually, men in particular, you know, need projects. They need projects to work on. Um, it's really just it's actually healthy for them to have projects to work on. Even when I am like on vacation, I will do projects around the house and that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like depressed. But that all being said, you still have to rest. Um, and this goes for, you know, everyone too. It's just getting that balance. And it's not an easy answer. It's not as easy as some of those videos I said that just work, work, and then only rest when you're just exhausted. Like, you're going to burn yourself out. You're just going to. And you're going to be less efficient. You're going to start hating what you do because you're forcing yourself to do it. So that's not like the answer. And I don't think this is like a one size fits all kind of kind of solution because people people's bodies are different. People have different amount of energy and even at, even at different times as we age, we will get less and less energy to the point where we will have to rest more. And it's like I said it's not like a one size fits all. And I think that's why people don't actually really discuss work versus rest it just they'll either the things i hear about them is like oh you have to rest do this to rest blah 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 then it's like work 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 yeah you gotta work to the seed keep working get your nose to the grind still to succeed blah 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 but it's rarely about that work versus rest balance and modern society has not fixed this issue in the slightest. In fact, I would argue it made it worse. Because, yes, like there's more stuff available, like we have the food and the water we need and that kind of stuff. But to like get that promotion or whatever, you know, you're going to have to work 80 hours a week or whatever it is, right? We have the mentality in society. And our rest has not improved either because our rest includes... You know, playing video games or watching TV, stuff that's engaging our mind. That's not like, I mean, some some of it's some of it can be restful, some of it can be leisure and stuff like that. And you know, it's always good to have a good laugh and that kind of stuff. But none of it is like a really good rest, if you will, a really good um good rest in the Lord. It's just um, leisure time where we laugh and some of that's good some of that can be restful but it's more of a distraction from life than it is a rest which i mean can be good like i said i don't know these are like just some of my thoughts stuff i've been thinking and praying about recently and i like i said i don't have a good answer and i think it's like a case by case basis that like how when you should rest when you should work and it can even vary if you're sick if you're sick obviously you're gonna rest more it's like also, when you're sick, how much you should work. Because sometimes, sometimes you're sick, like, you know, the varying degrees of being sick. And sometimes, you know, you, you do need to have that farmer's mentality where this, like, task needs to be done at this time, even whether I'm sick or not. So sometimes you do have to push yourself. And I'm not saying it's bad to, to push yourself. I think, you know, you do, you do have to do that from time to time. But it's, in society, it's become like, you always have to push yourself. And part of me is getting to the point where it's like, what's kind of the point in all this? This is just like a rat race. Office businesses are like the worst of this because I often just say to myself and, you know, say to others as in a joking way that offices are like soul sucking. Like office jobs are very soul sucking in nature. It's just like you do a task. You complete that task, you go into the next task, and it's like you don't even feel like you're building anything. And that gives me to like the next point where when you work, the jobs that you do, I guess there should be a distinction. Like there's two main branches I think they should fall under. And one is um, work should be you're feeling like you're building something, like you're producing something good instead of doing like busy work work that doesn't matter, paperwork or stuff that doesn't really feel like that ma that matters at all. And then the other type of work should be like, I guess, more social, if you will, helping others and like 
uh, retail is an example, I guess, where you help people find something or help help some uh, someone out, like you know, kind of service more type like work. I guess like those are the like the two branches, but there's this third branch that in modern society we have where it's soul sucking, busy work, work that doesn't feel like it accomplishes anything, meeting after meeting that doesn't do anything. And, you know, for those of you who have office jobs or in like meetings and stuff like that, you kind of know what I'm talking about. I mean, maybe you don't, but it just feels like there's so much work out there that it's like be better if you didn't do that work and you only worked a few hours a day at that job and you spent the other time doing something else, something constructive or resting or whatever. I don't know. These are just kind of my thoughts. I've been rambling about it. But um, I just figured I like had these thoughts and maybe someone out there will find them useful or maybe someone has some ideas about um, stuff that I'm not thinking about. Because like I said, I don't have the answers here. I just kind of want to start the conversation because it just feels and like it leads into depression. I mean, we see that depression rates have increased over the decades. I mean, part of that is obviously people not coming to God. But another part of that is just like the way we conduct ourselves with this office type work as well. I think work actually has a big deal with it. And and also the way we rest isn't as good as we used to. I don't like I said, I don't have the solution here. You know, list in the comments for like your thoughts and stuff like that. I mean, I'd like to get a it's maybe discussion going if possible. Yeah, so I guess that's it. Work versus rest. You need both. There should be a balance between the two. And basically, my conclusion is that that balance is on like a person to person and even a time period on time period basis of like, you know, how much energy you have and stuff like that. And also the way we rest and the way we work is not as good as it as it used to be or is not as optimal, if you will, as satisfying is like a probably a better term. We need more satisfying ways to rest and more satisfying ways to actually work and stuff like that. So anyway, this is Dragon Tank 1400 and uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.